spoke with many people this week. Uh, when I were here last year, late last year, talking about the election, talking about Obama getting elected, and you know, they were disappointed. They weren't happy. They talked as if electing the guy was going to solve all their problems overnight. It don't work like that. It really doesn't work like that. Elect the guy, that gets you on the pitch. Now, he's got the ball, he's the quarterback, and the offence are on him. What are you going to do? You're going to walk away? You're going to let it happen? You're going to look back in 10 years' time and think, what did I do when we had our chance? What did I do to make a difference? Did I, did I get in there and push with all my might? Or did I give in to cynicism? Did I take, did I take the, uh, the temptation put forward by the likes of Glenn Beck to turn off and to walk away? Did I allow people like him to seed our society with cynicism? That's what our great opposition is, not conservatism, not republicanism, not even capitalism, but cynicism. And our own cynicism, not their cynicism, not Glenn Beck's cynicism, but our cynicism. When we give and say, fuck up, you know, Obama's the same as Bush, and walk away, we lose everything, and Glenn Beck wins every single damn time. So, it's going to be fucking hard. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a push, and a hard push, and you're going to lose stuff, but you're going to win too. Tony Blair, we got rid of him in the end because of the Iraq war. Terrible disappointment, a great mistake. It'll really cost us at the coming election on one hand. On the other hand, while he was in power, we got peace in Northern Ireland, which I never thought I would see in my lifetime. Now watch what's happened in the world. There's only one nation that can lead us to reform the capitalist system, and it ain't China. There's only one nation who can enforce peace in the Middle East, and it ain't Great Britain. There's only one country in the world that has a legacy of slavery that could elect a black man. Only one country. You've done that. Now live up to that. Step up to that. I have faith in your ability to change the world. I want to dedicate this song to you with respect. It's called I. God, it starts to rain. And folks complain. It's 
bitterness of courage Go against the grain You have to make great sacrifice for such a little game So much pain And if your plans have come to nothing That's a highly politicized word, but I'm not talking about religious faith or spiritual faith. That's a personal issue. I'm talking about faith in humanity, faith in community, faith that finds its ultimate expression in international solidarity. There is power in a union. 